Hey everybody, welcome to the 20th anniversary edition of Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Okay, way back in the 90s there was the game Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Uh, it was done by, if I recall correctly, Sierra Online. Um, it's the same basic engine a lot of the games like Space Quest and King's Quest and whatnot all used. Um, the point and click adventure type. Uh, there was one called Quest for Glory where it was point and click but it also had combat scenes in it and whatnot. But they all worked generally the same. You picked out objects that were on the screen. Uh, you pick them up and either manipulate them or put them in your inventory to be used elsewhere or given to someone. Uh, and you had a uh, counter at the top of the screen. Um, like It would say something like 0 out of 510. And uh, the 510 were the points you would get for solving puzzles. And uh, that basically informed you as to how close you were to completing the game, as in like 100%ing it, you know, platinuming it. Uh, because if you didn't um, get all the points, obviously you were missing something in the game. Well, meanwhile, while we're yammering, let's get this shit done. Alright, that's a little bit better. Alright, we got a comment, or a couple comments. Uh, Danilo, never experienced these types of games before. Good story, well played. Well, I'm not sure if you mean like horror FPSs or anything like that, but, uh, you know, well, they're not super common, so I can kind of see that. Yeah, and I, I will say that this game definitely had a pretty decent story. It was, it really fit in with the classic Cthulhu mythos because, uh, that's very much how those stories were. You know, dude would uh, go up against whatever part of that universe, you know, whether it be a Shoggoth or it be some of the other various creatures running around there or against Inn's Mouthers or whatever. Uh, he'd go up against them and in general would probably wind up having something horrible happening to him even though he quote unquote won. So yeah, it was pretty interesting. Uh, thanks for your comment and uh, some guy says, Hydra kind of looks like a brood mother from Dragon Age Origins. I don't know, I never got that far. At least if I, if I ever did run into one, I don't fucking remember it. So, you know, whatever, it's been a long time. And welcome to the D rank. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Um, but you're so familiar with it. No. <laughs> uh, you know, having watched this, I'm glad I never got further than the first five minutes of Innsmouth. Eh, you're not a big FPS player, so I can kind of see that. I mean, even then, it's not that great of an FPS, admittedly. I mean, it's serviceable, but as you can see, yeah, there were issues with the uh, gun playing that. But anyway... Yeah, thanks for the comment, and let's get on with this. Let's get dangerous here. I played a little bit to figure out what's going on, or how to, you know, do things. Yep, that douchebag is the protagonist.
Okay, now that we're past that. Loading. I dreamt of blood upon the shore of Isa spoke of sin. The lake was smooth and deep and black as was her scented skin. Full disclosure, this chick is awesome. bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel's allowed. I mean, he's out. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Buh bye Good morning. You look like hell. Did you have another nightmare last night? Yes, because having nightmares is what I do, apparently. Seventh damn night in a row. I told you, it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw with your karma. Unfortunately, I don't think my readers would go for a horror novel about fluffy bunny rabbits. So voodoo it is. You mean your reader? She lives in Wisconsin, doesn't she? Bite me. Hey, what goes on in your bed stays in your bed, as far as I'm concerned. I have messages for you when you want them. It also tells you basically, yeah, your scores, your score bar. Yeah, th so it's 362 possible points in the game, so you pretty much have to examine everything and uh, do all the various puzzles and whatnot. And, you know, stuff of that nature. Okay, well, anywho. Yeah, we're not going to bother with the uh, hiding buttons thing, because I like... Uh, I like having uh, my interface visible. Okay, there's Grace. Let's use the hand on her. Like I haven't tried. Don't mind if I do. Do what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> <coughs> Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Okay, so where's my mouth pointer? There it is. What do you know about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop and museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the papers, same as you. What can you tell me about Narlins? I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like Anything's possible here. Tell me about yourself, Grace. What do you want to know? What the hell? How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. Soon as I get it, I'll let you know, okay? How do you like working at St. George's Books? It's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books. And it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. What do you do after work? I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. 
Oh, I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. Just tell me anything at all. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. Just tell me anything at all. I came to New Orleans because I'd read so much about it. I thought spending a few months here would clear my head. Just tell me anything at all. I've been studying Tai Chi for 10 years. It's a very spiritual discipline. I'm sure discipline of any sort isn't something that would appeal to you, Gabriel. Nothing, I guess. Never mind. Did you find any good voodoo resources for me? The best in the city are supposedly the Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in the French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. If you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. Yeah, so basically now she is the uh, research assistant. So whenever I get research topics, I can bounce them off of her. Do you have messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talkative, isn't he? Especially with you. What did he want? He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey and that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. It's about time. Let me guess. This has to do with the voodoo murders, right? Some kind of inside police information? Did you tell him you'd put him in your new book? Maybe. A writer has a certain obligation to his readers, you know. Gabriel, you know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character's a female orthodontist. You're gonna be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a really big... Uh, that's enough. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Is that all? Do you have messages for me? You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Call Germany? Like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. <laughs> okay, are we, no, we're not done with messages yet. Do you have messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great. We had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. <laughs> She's my girl. And she sent over that box on the table for you. Okay, so we're out of messages. Good. All right, so you hit the space bar, and it shows you the various things you can interact with. The welcome mat is well worn. Unfortunately, that's only because Gabriel picked it up second hand, not because of the stampede of customers. Blessed Carefee. The books on the table have been chosen for their special appeal. Recent fiction by the biggies. In other words, nothing written by Gabriel. Today's newspaper is on the counter. Times dated June 18, 1993. The Aquarius horoscope says, Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. Hmm, <laughs> right. Yeah, so reading the newspaper gives you basically hints. More or less, it lets you know what's going on. Times dated June. Oh, no, I don't care. Potential st <laughs> So you can read the uh, 
the paper if you want to. I'll pause, and that's enough. I have no idea if drinking coffee has any effect. Of course, he has to turn around and stare at Grace. Mm, good coffee. Okay, box. Okay, so he grabbed that book, whatever the hell that is. The box has Gabriel's name on it. Written in his grandmother's handwriting. The old desk is one Gabriel picked up near a dumpster. Not too shabby, huh? Well, okay, maybe it is. Yeah. Gabriel looks at the cash register, checking for cobwebs. <laughs> Gabriel opens a cash register to examine the take. Or in the case of St. George's books, the mistake. That doesn't work that way. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'll have. The cash register contains about twenty dollars in small bills and change. Gabriel, that's all the change I have. Touch it and you can kiss your hand goodbye. <laughs> Would I do that to you? Oh, absolutely. Gabriel doesn't want to take that with him. Gabriel doesn't want to take that with him. I trust you can live without this old gift certificate. Knock yourself out. Okay, so I guess that does have something to do with whatever. Okay, ashtray. He's an ashtray. Gabriel would rather use the phone in his studio for privacy. Grace likes a little banker's lamp. She has a soul of an accountant. The ladder provides access to the uppermost shelves of the bookcase. If you try to look down my shirt one more time, I'm leaving. Just trying to refresh my memory. I know what you're trying to refresh, and it isn't your memory. Get down. <laughs> okay, that one was uh, unexpected. The chandelier is original. Gabriel finds it charming. All right, all right. He can't afford to replace it. Gabriel plans to turn the balcony into a schmaltzy cafe if he ever gets the cash. The balcony floor needs work and is unsafe. Okay, I think we're just about oh, just for the hell of it. Grace's coat is a simple but classic trench coat. Gabriel hates people with good taste. Leave my coat alone, Gabriel. <laughs> Okay, windows, I think that's just about it. Art supplies. Grace keeps her art supplies here. Gabriel wouldn't dare touch Grace's oil paints. Tree snakes in a skull. Gabriel's father painted it. What a wacky offbeat kind of guy daddy was. Nope. No safe full of money back there. Okay, anything else? I think I've gotten pretty much everything of, uh, yeah. Let me check my inventory, do I? Okay, wait a minute, I might miss something here. Hold on, uh... Go back out. I 
I can go through the rest of that stuff some other time. Okay, I guess I got it then. Gracie's resume. She was way overqualified. A and also the only person who applied. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. Yeah, the stuff twinkles. That's right. I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. Good. You're beginning to look a bit scruffy. I practically own stock in these guys. My spare motorcycle gloves. Those keychains were for a promo I tried once, before I realized it was hopeless. I always had a thing for St. George, the one who slew a dragon. Yeah, it's probably bigger than this little guy, though. That's from Graham. She likes to think it means someone's watching over me. I'm not so sure about that, but I don't have a heart to get rid of it. Yeah, one thing Sierra Games did do back in the day was, uh, or was this under their own label? It's basically the same um, engine, but it's, uh, I'm not too sure, because I remember this game coming out way the fuck back in the day, and I played a little bit of it, you know, borrowed it and played it a little bit, and. It was kind of, it was pretty interesting. Let's see, rabbit's foot. Not so lucky for the rabbit, was it? Yeah, I remember that bit. I forget where that came from, but seems like a nice place to visit. The Blake Backlash series. My literary claim to fame, such as it is. I don't use hairspray. Nope, not me. Hmm, fun times. Self-help books, okay. Let's Just see. a few self-help books. That one on top was a joke gift from mostly. Fear of commitment. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of shit. Okay, well, let's get to it. The medicine cabinet contains a few old prescriptions, personal hygiene stuff, and lots of hair products. I'll take this hair gel. You never know when you need a touch up. Okay, that was worth points. My bathroom. I've got to get around to cleaning up in there. I don't need to, thanks. A little cold bubbly and brie cheese is about all Gabriel's fridge ever has in it. Gabriel, shut that refrigerator, please. Oh, I can smell it from here. Quimmer. <laughs> the closet is loaded with white t-shirts. There's one black button down for those fancy occasions. Hmm, I might be able to use this black shirt. The 
There's a flashlight on the dresser. The building's wiring leaves a lot to be desired. I might need a flashlight. Oh, I'm sure you will. I'm actually getting a, quite a few points already. I haven't even gotten out of this place yet. Let's see what what what's more likely to be funny. Let's try to kind of move this along a little. Gabriel's mini stereo isn't exactly high fidelity. Then again, neither is he. Do you have men problems? Someone put a hex on you? Call Sister Cross. Through the power of love and the Lord Jesus Christ, she can fix what's ailing you. At Giant Discount Bookstore, we discount every title 50%. When you see our selection and prices, you'll never want to shop with those little guys again. I want you to take hold of your prayer clothes. Better yet, take hold of your radio and let's do a miracle. But first, I want to talk about doing what's right. Those of you who are out there listening to these radio waves of comfort, you know what I'm talking about. Every day, this program reaches out into the darkness and pulls lost souls from the grasp of the devil himself. Oh, but now I don't have to tell you that the Lord's work does not come cheap, my friend. Of course. So I want you to get up right now. Take out an envelope, fill it with whatever you can, and send it today. We both know that. Do it what's right. I ask you, my friend, have you done your share today? Or are you being carried by those dedicated souls who support this ministry with their generous gifts and offerings? Remember, my friend, faith that costs nothing does nothing. Simply send your gifts of faith to Reverend Bob, and your name will be blessed. Hallelujah! That's it for this week, friends. Enjoy the wonderful, wonderful music, and may God watch over you. The Creo Grand Dams will hold their annual... Okay, yeah, anyway, we're out of here. I'm gonna leave the radio on for Grace, why not? Let's get out of here. Let's get moving. But you get the idea, that's basically how it's played. Of course, we combine objects and whatnot to uh, solve puzzles and things in the game world. I'm out of here. Try not to sell out the store while I'm gone. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's not worried about it. Okay, police station. another municipal building, but not one Gabriel has any interest in. Okay, well, let's just go inside. I'm probably not going to get every single fucking point. That's not really the intention, anyway. Officer Frick. Yeah, okay. The death sergeant looks like a poster boy for heart disease. 30 extra pounds between his armpits and his belt, and a complexion the consistency of gray oatmeal. In other words, a typical product of good southern cooking. Got a forklift? <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? What do you know about voodoo? Me? Nothing. I'm a Catholic boy. What can you tell me about the voodoo murders? I'm not allowed to give out information on police cases. That VA sounds familiar. What can you tell me about Nolens? I'll tell you. I'm glad as hell it's not Mardi Gras. If it weren't for that one month a year, being a cop in New Orleans would be a real pleasure. As it is, I'd rather stick behind this desk. 
Tell me about yourself. Who, me? I'm the desk sergeant, Frick. Why? Frick? That's right. You got a problem with that? Not at all. Tell me about yourself. You see that front door? Yeah. Well, I watch people come in. See this book? Yeah. Well, I write people's names in it, see? People that bother me. Want me to put your name in this book? Oh, I think not. That's what I thought. <laughs> Tell me oh, about I'm yourself. Saved. Okay. I hate people who ask stupid questions. Okay, so it looks like there's no way to lose right there, but I gotta get what back in the mode of saving. What can you tell me about Best food in the world. You can get it right here in Nolens. Mufaletta sandwiches. Mmm, mmm. Beignets, good Cajun coffee. Yep, a man can die happy in this city. It's practically guaranteed. What can you tell me about the voodoo murders? Hey, buddy, do I look like the kind of lowlife that'd betray my sacred oath to this department? I don't know. What would that kind of lowlife look like? Like hamburger meat if I got a hold of them. Kind of like what you're gonna look like in about five seconds. Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Hey, nice precinct. Think so, huh? That's peachy. That means more to me than you could know. Kinda quiet in here today. Summer's like that. Too muggy to mug, too hot to heft. How clever. It's a gift. So, what's new around the old police station? Well, we're now allowed to shoot chatty pedestrians on sight. <laughs> that sounds convenient. I like it. <laughs> One more time. Excuse me, Officer Frick? Whatever it is, no. Now get out of here before I have you arrested for disturbing the peace. Okay, well, let's get on with it. I was supposed to pick up some photos from Detective Mosley at the front desk. Is that right? And who are you? My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Yeah, I got something for you, all right. Soon as you're done talking, I'll give it to you. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's out at a crime scene. Sorry. Where's the crime scene? Is it related to the voodoo murders? Crime scene information is police confidential. We don't need any more looky loos than are probably already there. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. I told you. He's not here. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. I told you. Okay, he's not here. And more smart ass stuff. Come on, you can tell me where the crime scene is. Look, I know the papers got everybody stirred up about these killings, but that don't make it public information. Back off. So this is a new voodoo murder then? Hey, I didn't say that. You'll read all about it in the papers tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sure. So, anything interesting happening around here? Look, I've got a job to do. Chat with someone else, huh? Okay, good. We exhausted that. Here's that envelope for you, Gabriel Knight. Thanks. A uniformed officer of the NOPD. Hey, hey. Yeah, so he don't say shit, Officer Franks, okay? She's not bad. She probably wouldn't cooperate. But I wouldn't <laughs> mind trying. <laughs> Gabriel can't do that from the front lobby. Okay, so I can't really move. Actually, wait, uh, I can't no one report. goes back there until I say so, mister. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let's say, because, you know, it would be kind of rough.
You know what the hell? You go with that. All right. Uh, the envelope from Mosley is a plain Manila one. It feels pretty light. <laughs> okay, that's combined. All right. Gabriel opens the Manila envelope and finds two photographs. The photograph of Mosley was apparently taken upon his graduation from the police academy. He had hair then. Okay. Well, I'll close the entire thing out. Thanks a bunch. Oh, wait. Right there. One of the photos from Mosley is an official voodoo murders crime scene shot. A graphic close-up of a victim. Okay. That's the bookstore. People seem to be enjoying the park, despite the lack of sunshine. Oh, hey, hold on a minute. People seem to be enjoying the park, despite the Oh, shit, where'd she go? You white face geek, you want to eat my fist? Wait, am I talking shit? Hold on. I would if I had enough time to do it properly. Day, officer. Yeah, you too. You white-faced geek. You want to eat my fist? Could I ask you a few questions? Not now, buddy. I'm busy. I should have noticed that. Thanks. Yeah, all right. The homicide team, please attending. Mind if I use your radio? What are you nuts? Forget it. Touchy. Mind if I use your radio? What are you nuts? Forget it. Touchy. Could I ask you a few questions? Not now, buddy. I'm busy. I should have noticed that. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, we got to get the police officer uh, out of the way. Unfortunately, you can't use arrow keys to walk well, him around. I never! Leave me alone, you, you, you man! That sounds like, uh, Katie Seagal. Here we go. Oh, damn it. Since Gabriel can't read lips, he's disinclined to start a conversation. No, come back here, fucker. Knock it off, you, before I shove this washboard down your throat. Shit. Fuck. It's one of those mimes. Oh, boy.
Hey, look, Buckface, follow me you around. You white face, geek. You want to eat my fist? Since Gabriel can't read li Well, I never! Leave me alone, you, you, you man! Fucking hell. Come on, you complete and utter fucking toolbox. Let's go. Since Gabriel can't... It's one of those... My yeah, how do I change my facing? Um... Come oh, on, follow me, fuckface. There we go. Hey, cut that out. I told you to stop that. All right, mister, you want some of this? Why, you little... Yeah, that made no sense, but whatever. Gabriel picks up the headset and listens. Ambulance 91, have you located the crime scene? They've radioed for you three times. Did you say it was north of the Lake Retreat Country Club? South. Lakeside Drive. North of the Piedmont Pier. South of the Country Club. Man, I don't know if it's the clouds out here today or what. Good thing this guy's already dead. Everyone's having trouble. Must have been hallucinogens in the copy. Well, I never! Leave me alone, so you, you, you man! Hey, I see a squad car. I got a molly. Thank God. Have a good one, 91. Interesting. Hey, you, get away from that bike. Sorry. Okay, well, we're done there. Yes, that's where we're going. Yes, it is. All right. Hey, mostly. Huh? Mate, you wiener. I told you not to call me that. Feeling jumpy? Who, me? Don't be stupid. How'd you find me? Oh, I was just driving by. Uh-huh. Well, I guess I can let you see it for the book. But don't tell anyone, huh? Got a cop standing right there, bro. Definitely another voodoo murder. Same M.O. and no freaking clues. We're still waiting on an ID for the body. Oh, that's disgusting. Isn't this a rather public area for this kind of thing? Yeah, they're freaking ghosts, these guys. Lakeshore Drive isn't exactly the 10 Expressway, but it is open to the public. No reports of nothing. Now, yeah, this is about as far as I got. Is that? Back when I played it way back in the day. Um, good day, Miss Getty. What's going on, officer? Detective Mosley, ma'am. Uh, we got a little problem here, but nothing for you to be concerned about. I see. Thank you, detective. And good day, gentlemen. I'm in love. Forget it. That's Molly Getty. She's about as far out of your reach as the moon. Probably on her way to meet some guy with a yacht right now. Near here? The lake's a popular place for country clubs. If she's out here a lot, maybe she saw something or heard something. Nah, nobody ever sees or hears nothing. I told you. Besides, you just don't go around bothering people like her. We've about wrapped it up, sir. Well, let's get the meat wagon moving then. Stick around and take notes for the book if you want. Watch out for the muck in the water moccasins, though. 
If you want to talk, I'll be at the station tomorrow. Thanks. Hey, can you die in this? Better save, because, you know, just in case. I, Because I am going to walk into the fucking water and shit. Okay, let's walk over here. Uh... Lake Pancha train is impressive. It measures 24 miles across and stretches as far as the eye can see. Lake Pancha train is scenic, but you really wouldn't want to swim in it. There's nothing worth magnifying in that particular location. Okay, then why did it give me a magnifying glass? The banks of Lake Poncha Train are rich with clay deposits. I'll take some of this clay with me. That's what I assumed it was for. Well, it gave me a point, or points. Looks like there was something here. I should take a closer look. Okay. Sure, what the fuck I'm doing here? Oh, wait a minute. Um, he looks like a scale of some sort. The scale is too delicate to pick up by hand. That doesn't work, Dad. Gabriel carefully uses the tweezers to take the small, iridescent scale. I think it's a snake scale, but it beats the hell out of me what kind. There's a pattern to the lines in the sand, but only one small area is clearly defined. Oh, that's a lot of blood. No, oh, I've got no way to take that with me, and I don't want to. Gabriel can't take the lines without some help. Wait a minute. Um, sketchbook. Hmm. Let me try to copy this down. That is uh, more or less vegetation. What's what's the vegetation? Curious. Gabriel is on the sand and clay shores of Lake Poncha Train, at a site where some poor bastard got to see who the voodoo murderers really are. Nope. Okay. Nope. Damn it. 
Okay, whatever. Anyway, let's uh, figure out how to get out of here. Road. Lakeshore Drive runs around the entire lake. This is a particularly lonely stretch, but it's still a public road. Okay, so where's my exit? There it is. I think I've gotten everything I can get there. Back to the French Quarter. St. George's. Yeah, after I, uh, after I get through with this, I somebody called. I knew you'd it. miss me, so I came back. Really? I forgot you were gone. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Do you know anything about snakes? Doing a family tree, Gabriel? Very funny. I mean, real snakes, you know, scaly, cold-blooded. I would have thought you'd find them empathetic. Mm-hmm. I know very little about reptiles of any kind and prefer to keep it that way. I think there's a book on snakes around here somewhere, though. Okay, thanks. Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? Could you see what you can find out about a woman named Malia Getty? Hmm. The name Getty sounds familiar. What's your interest in her? Oh, just, you know, stuff about the voodoo murders. If you can get an address. Mm-hmm. The murders, right. I'll see what I can find out. Well, it's about closing time. So it is. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Gabriel. And try not to dream. Okay. More nightmares. A mask I wore as I approached. I was what I am not, and though the pattern was unclear, its meaning could be bought. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. Alright, just as soon as I get where I can do something, then we're going to call it. Is there a way to skip these little scenes? Because I can tell it's going to get kind of annoying if I have to keep watching that every time. Then again, we are... I want to estimate uh, a little over 10% Good through. Good morning. Don't you look swell today? Actually, swollen. Mm-hmm. So have some. There's a fresh pot on the table. Seriously, you look like hell. Your hair is sticking straight up like a... Oh, it always does that. Never mind. Ha ha. Did you dream about the fire and the hanged guy and that lion thing last night? Leopard, not lion. Did you get anything on Malia Giddy? Well, I did get her address, but you're a little out of your league here, big fella. The Gettys own three local hospitals, just to name a few of their assets. They run in very high circles. Did you get an address? I got the address. I suppose this has nothing to do with the fact that Malia Getty is incredibly gorgeous. I should have known you wouldn't go for a rich, ugly socialite. And that address is? Hey, far be it from me to postpone your total humiliation. 
It's 557 West Ingram. That's the Garden District. Estate City. That's all I wanted to know. And yes, my dear, Malaghetti is the most dangerous looking diversion I have ever seen. Ouch. Ugh, men. Alright. Yeah, so yeah, we're almost 10% of the way through, so. Alright guys, with that, we're going to call it an episode here. Obviously, next time we'll be continuing and uh, probably going to see who this Getty chick is. And maybe find out what the hell these nightmares are all about. So, with that, I will see you guys later.